That was the sound of a Hawaiian forest. The cacophony of birdsong was once so loud, it's said that the first Hawaiians heard the islands before they saw the islands. Now, this is the sound of many forests in Hawaii today. Unfortunately, the arrival of Homo sapiens was the beginning of a great silence for many species. And for some groups, like the Hawaiian honey creepers, now only a fraction remain. And that fraction is threatened by a mosquito spread disease, avian malaria. Now you've probably heard of human malaria, which infects humans. Well, avian malaria infects over 300 species of birds and is found on every continent except Antarctica. While we don't see birds falling dead from our California backyards because they have been exposed to malaria for millions of years and have evolved to keep their parasite levels low. This is not the case for the Hawaiian birds who have only recently been exposed and when infected have quite high parasite levels and often die. The most susceptible species are now only found in habitats where it's too cold for malaria or mosquitoes. Unfortunately, with climate change, these habitats are shrinking every year. So if we wanted to do something to stop the spread of this deadly disease and prevent this extinction crisis, we need to know which birds are infecting mosquitoes and how many. It's mosquito bites that transfer malaria from bird to bird. In my PhD research, I use an experimental system to study how well different parasite levels infect mosquitoes. I then use mathematical models to estimate how well a single individual, a species, or a whole community of birds infects mosquitoes. Comparisons between communities allow us to identify where the risk of infection is greatest. So far, I found that Generally, higher parasite loads infect more mosquitoes. However, it might be temperature dependent. And we're using this information right now to help conservationists in Hawaii identify locations where they can use mosquito management techniques to slow avian malaria spread. If we slow it enough, we buy valuable time for the Hawaiian birds to evolve their own resistance. And spoiler alert, they're doing it already. Our goal is to bring back Hawaiian birds to forests across Hawaii, where they can be heard by generations to come. Thank you.